Hi and welcome to GRVO TV, G's Reviews, Views and Opinions. just want to do an update, now I've been using this for a little while, on this um, little Olympus 60mm 2.8 macro. Now when I first borrowed a few lenses, this being one of them, this was the one I was probably least interested in and didn't have any intentions of buying one. Now I had the 7518, the 1718, the 12 to 40 2.8 Pro lens, and out of all of them, this is the one that I'm sort of most keen to get my hands on because it isn't just a macro lens. It's a it's a 60 mm 2.8 lens. Can be used for great for portraits, great for um, sort of natural what I call natural portraits when you're out and about with kids and family it's good for you know that little bit closer more tight shots rather than the wide angles so it's a it's an equivalent of 120 mil full frame sort of field of view it's fairly fast at 2.8 so yes the 75 1.8 is a stunning lens but it's also a stunningly expensive lens whereas you can buy the 45 mil 1.8 and the 60mm 2.8 probably for about half the money of 7518 and I think you're just getting a you know more variety and the actual the ability to just quickly do a little bit of macro on something that you see is, is also fantastic it's a quirky little thing because of this switch on the side but once you get used to how that works it, it's actually fine and, and just with your thumb you can move it on the bottom it's quite difficult to move but once you get used to it it's okay normal mode is 0.19 to infinity so that's your maximum range if you're taking photos of things that are a little bit further away and you're nothing close up 0.4 to infinity gives you a slightly faster focusing because it hasn't got as far to go and then if you're doing close-up stuff then 0.19 to 0.4 limits your range even further for close stuff and again improves your focusing speed now it's also got this one-to-one -one thing where it moves the focus straight to one-to-one -to -one. And I didn't quite get that, but that's really only for use in, in my opinion, in manual focus. Because what it does is it instantly gets you to one to one, and then you can move your camera backwards and forwards until you're in focus at that one to one range, and you you know you're then at one to one. If you do it in autofocus, yes, you can flick it to one to one, but as soon as you autofocus, it will move away um, from that one to one. So you don't really know that you're at one to one unless you can look at the top of the the scale here but um, yeah so in manual mode that works a treat and I think that's what it's designed for don't hold me to that but I'm guessing that that is what it is actually for so apparently it's weather sealed and um, the quality is quite plasticky but very nice quality you know there's I've got nothing no issues with it um, and I would actually quite comfortably use that in a shower and that makes this a nice little weather seal package I've got it here on the OMD M5 just as equally good on the um, the EM1 or the uh, OMD M10 I'm not sure if that's a weather seal body or not I don't know I haven't looked at the M10 yet um, so there you go uh, I will throw up a few more pictures that I've taken and actually from the out of the weekend's um, sort of photography that I've been doing with all these new lenses and the EM1 the photos a couple of photos that I've had from this lens are in actual fact my favorites there you go I put up some photos that I've been taking over the weekend uh, with this little lens but it is now become definitely one of my lenses that's um, on my hit list and you know not being a, a, a ferociously expensive lens it's not cheap by all my, any means but it's definitely one that's within reach and um, I will be um, saving up a few pennies um, to definitely get this uh, this little macro lens it's uh, it's wonderful anyway this has been uh, GRVO TV G's reviews views and opinions I see you soon bye